<laughs> Fura is finally asleep, so we can... Again? Sorry, girls. I'll catch up with you after I get my little sis back to bed. Wait. I'm growing a blossom idea. Maybe if I tell her a story, she'll know it's time to go to bed. <gasps> a bed time story. Yay! We'll need some great decorations to create some dreamy vibes. Five Minute Craft should have everything we need. A cozy campfire is a must. And for this one, you'll need crepe paper, safety scissors, a piece of cardboard, non-toxic paint, small wooden branches, and colorful rocks. Did I ever tell you about our first campfire? Emberly invented it, and we all brought yummy snacks. The best part was when we discovered how well marshmallows and chocolate go with campfires. A match made in heaven, just like me and my trusty Tilly. Finished. Wow, check out our cozy DIY campfire. Now that's perfect for telling bedtime stories. All right, Fura, time for your first bedtime story. Once upon a time, it started as any other day. I woke up, had a yummy breakfast and thought, what a lovely day to go exploring with Tella. We had so much fun, we didn't realize the sun was disappearing and it had turned dark. And then I spotted it, the crystal star. Tella had just told me about this star the day before. The crystal star is the brightest star in the night sky and it always appears just above Neander Falls. At the time, I shrugged it off, but it totally helped us get home. Who knew stars could be so helpful? <laughs> <laughs> well, except on nights like this where the clouds are covering the whole sky. Oh, Bristleberry, I wish Fura could see the stars. They always help me drift to sleep. <gasps> That's it! Why don't we craft our own night sky? For this beautiful starry sky, you'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, a bowl, safety scissors, white, gray, and black non-toxic paint, aluminum foil, and glitter, and crystal beads for the stars. What's more beautiful than a night sky covered with glittery, bright stars? Awesome blossom! Want to know something wild? Tell us as the sun is also a star. Can you believe it? A giant daytime star? What if every star in the sky is actually a teeny tiny sun? The cosmos is full of such wonderful mysteries. This dreamy sky is sure to help Fura get ready for bedtime. What do you think, Fura? We made a special night sky just for you. <laughs> Now you can look at the stars while I tell another worrisome story. Once upon a time, Tella was pet sitting Feral and she would not sit still. She was jumping all around the kitchen and making such a mess. Tella tried to feed her, but that didn't work. So Tella tried petting Feral and realized she just wanted to be extra comfy. So Rorelei got her favorite pillow, her mouse pillow. If Feral's pillow helped her relax, maybe a comfy pillow will help you relax, Fura. And what's comfier than a furry pillow? Soft and comfy pillows are a must for a good night's sleep. You better believe it. For these fern-tastic pillows, you'll need fluffy socks, safety scissors, non-toxic glue, and some cotton for filling. One of my favorite games are pillow fights. <laughs> but that's not the best idea to help Fura stay asleep. So maybe we'll skip it for tonight. Oh, these pillows are so fernsy. Fura is gonna love them. Oh. oh, she loves them. And look, she's finally winding down. <laughs> Uh, false alarm. I've got one last bedtime story. This one better work. Ready, for a? Once upon a time, Tella and I were playing a new game we invented called Someone Hides and Someone Finds. Done! I couldn't find her anywhere. I was worried I would never find her and have to explain to all our friends how I accidentally lost our only Tella. Wait, what's that sound? Is that a T-Rex? That doesn't sound like any dino I know. Is it snoring? Yay! Found you! <gasps> <Oops. sighs> 
And if Tella fell asleep in the comfy leaves, maybe you will too, Fura. And I've got a garden of beautiful plants just waiting to decorate your room. Let's make a beautiful natural canopy bed. Leaves and wood are a great way to bring the outdoors indoors. Maybe this will finally get Fura to fall asleep. To make this canopy bed, take small wooden branches, non-toxic glue, light green non-toxic paint, some beautiful artificial leaves, you can get those in the arts and crafts store, ribbon, and colorful tool for decoration. Our canopy bed is almost ready. Looks awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> Finally! I hope you enjoyed these bedtime stories and our DIYs. Good night! <laughs> Not again! What is art? Art is expression. Art is freedom. Art is what allows us to say what we can't capture in words. Today begins your journey into art with I, your teacher, your mentor. Some might even say your hero. Absolutely no one is saying that. <laughs> Lesson one, art is life. Life is art. So to learn art, you must paint. Life. Oh my gobosaurus, they are so cute. I cannot wait to art them. I'm going to art them so good. That's a volcano of cuteness ready to erupt. <gasps> I'm impressed you got them all to stay under there that long. <laughs> good job, brother. Yeah, I painted them earlier. Ooh. Ah. To help you reach the next level in your art, I need to see where you're starting at. So I want each of you to paint your interpretation of our adorable pets. And I'll come around in a bit to check them out and show you how you can improve. Okay, Vanessa, let's see what you did. Okay, well, you know I love animals and plants. So, plantimals. Wow, very creative. You've got a great use of lines. I just use more colors. <laughs> okay, thanks, Lee. Plantimals. That's gonna give me nightmares. Yeesh. Okay, sis, show me what you got. Ta-da! Um, this is great, but um, they all look different. I had one of my televisions, and this is what they'll look like in the future. Like, like, way in the future. <laughs> yeah, Flair gets a major makeover. Um, I can see that. Well, good job. I think some stronger lines could really make the future stand out. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Emberly? Gaslight? What you doing? Oh, <laughs> see, I invented this, uh, brain brush. <laughs> it takes the images from my brain and clicks them right onto the canvas. Oh, so you see the pets as blobs? <laughs> if that's what my brain paints, then, yep. Okay, well, um, you just keep doing what you're doing. All right. Your turn, Rorelai. I don't know if you should look. It isn't very good. That's okay. We're all here to learn and get better together. Let's take a look. Okay, but it's pretty rough. Rorelai, it's... It's... Better than mine. What did you... Uh, I have to go. I forgot I have to wash my hair forever. I got dismissed. What happened to Slate? I think my painting was so bad it maybe broke his brain. He doesn't need to wash his hair. His hair is perfect. Uh, I better go check on him. Wow, who knew art could be so dramatic? Oh, this is nothing. In the future, art gets so weird that sometimes not making art is art. Like a blank canvas is considered art. That doesn't sound dangerous or dramatic. That sounds dumb. Uh, wrong, 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 wrong. Slay? Slay, are, are you, are you having some sort of mental breakdown? Do you need a hug or a new brain? Lorelai, what are you doing here? I came to apologize. Apologize? 
For what? For making a painting so bad it made you run off. Don't worry, I'll never paint again. <sighs> Lorelei, your painting was rarsome. I loved it. Really? Then why did you run? Because... Because I thought painting was supposed to be my thing. I thought I was supposed to be the best at it. I was just jealous of how good you are. But, like you said, we're all here to learn and get better together. Yeah, that's true. Hey, want to do some more painting? Yeah! And, and Slate? Yeah? You're still my favorite painter. Thanks, Rorlai. <laughs> I'm having a bad day. Rorelai, as she eloquently growled, is having a bad day. See, she didn't sleep well and woke up to find her pet cat, Feral, had eaten all the food in her cave. I guess that happens when your pet is a baby saber-toothed tiger. Don't you growl at me, stomach. You're not the boss of me. Okay, maybe you're a little bit the boss. I gotta find food fast. But even bad days can lead to new firsts. Let's watch. Oh, yeah. Fly and snap. Um, uh, Rorlai! Uh, that butterfly is my spirit guide. Stop eating my path to spiritual enlightenment. I'm uh, sorry, Tella. I didn't know. There's a lesson here. Remember, it's always good practice to make sure your snack isn't anyone's spirit guide before eating it. <sighs> That's okay. Just be more careful. Oh, I know, stomach! Poor Rorelai. She's tired, hungry, and worst of all, she made her friends unhappy. I'm just gonna sit in the cave where I can't accidentally eat anyone. Quiet, stomach. You got us into this mess in the first place. Hmm. Need some more red to really capture the emotional journey of the apples. BRB. Be rock back. So hungry. My painting! Sorry, Slade. I thought it was food. It was food! Food for the eyes. And in fairness, all of my paints are made from smushed up berries and fruits, so technically it's also food for the mouth. Mm. So that's why it tasted so good! While Slate's paints are basically smoothies, other paints aren't. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but, you know, don't eat paint! I'm oh, sorry I messed your painting up. It's cool. Now it looks kind of abstract. And Tella says abstract art is totally going to have its moment in the future. I think I'm just going to go back home. Today's been... rough. Whoa! This... This is amazing! Huh? What is? It's you! You just created something rarsome! I want one! And Slate wasn't the only one. Soon, everyone was at the cave, making what we now know as selfies. But what at the time, Slate called, Who wants to do another fruit face splatter? <laughs> Best part was, they brought food. So Rorelai's bad day ended up being pretty great. You see, cave clubbers, it pays to stay alert. Because the next great moment, the next great invention, can come out of anywhere, even out of a bad day. What's the rush? I've just seen in my telescope that tomorrow's Tyra's birthday. Oh, sure is. Well, I've been trying to think of a present all day. Any ideas in that telescope of yours for the perfect T-Rexalent present? I did. There were decorations, games, dinos. It's called a party. A party, huh? Well, I've never been to one before, but I'd love to give a Triceratops. Let's make it the most rockin' dino party ever! Tyra will be so surprised. We want this party to be dino might. What about a rockin' dino pool? To make a dino pool, you'll need a piece of cardboard, safety scissors, kids' rolling pin, non-toxic kids' clay, and some marbles. Oh my, Gigantosaurus. I just realized we just invented a whole new type of party, a prehistoric pool party. So first, we make the walls for the pool. It better be strong, because Tyra is a big fan of cannonballs. All done and ready for marbles. 
Would you look at that? Our dino pool is ready! <laughs> Emberly, don't worry! She's just swimming dino style! Oh my stars! Raquel, I can see the next craft and it's stellar! No time to wait! Let's do it! Time to take this garden from hearty veggies to party ready! And these magic crystal rocks will do just the trick! For these magic crystals, you'll need white, purple and pink non-toxic kids clay, a safe plastic tool, white non-toxic paint, and a paintbrush. Ready? Let's rock! I like to pretend these crystals can make my dreams come true, but only if I focus super hard. <sighs> oh, I hope Tyra has the best party in all prehistory. Now we're sticking the crystals together, because just like most things, life is better with friends. We'll call these Crystal Besties! Rorelai, what would you wish for? <laughs> <laughs> Did you wish for a party game? Yeah! Oh, wee! I'm as tired as a Stegosaurus spike! I need some rest, but first, we have some more crafts to do! Let's ride! And this is the most important craft for the party. It's time to make my present for Tyra. She's always wanted a headband necklace, and now we'll make her dream come true. For this fancy headband, you'll need a ribbon, colorful pearls, crystal beads, and safety scissors. Looks great. And with Tyra's beautiful hair, I'm sure it'll look even better. I can't wait to share it with her. Oh, well, what do you think of your present, Tyra? Oh, I'm so glad you love it. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to finish decorating while Tyra's busy. Come on. These handmade leaves will be a perfect decoration for Furness's garden. For this craft, you'll need colored foam paper, a pencil, safety scissors, craft glue, and a wooden stick. Decorations set the vibe for any event, and these leaves are perfect for a birthday in the garden. Did you know that plants help make fresh air? Tell us as folks in the future call it photosynthesis. That's a mega mouthful. Wow, these look great. No one can try Ceratop this. Nice work, Raquel. Leave it to you to make Vanessa's garden look even better. Has she seen it? Not yet. Vanessa, what do you think? Ooh. Any premonitions about our last craft? Let's reveal it right now! It's time to make a birthday cake! I got this recipe from my telescope, so it should be divine! First, the ingredients. You'll need colorful modeling clay, a plastic cookie cutter, safe plastic tools, paper straws, safety scissors, plastic tweezers, and a rolling pin. Ooh, I'm getting a television. <gasps> Looks like cakes become very popular for birthdays in the future. Hm, who knew? And that's the final layer. It'll be the star of the party. After Tyra, of course. Don't forget to decorate your cake. Pretty decorations can save any cake. Mm -hmm. This looks almost good enough to eat. Oh, but remember, this heavenly dessert is just for dinos. Oh, yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Tyra! Yay! Yay! Another wish sent up to the universe. Oh, yeah! Wow, what a day! I had so much fun planning Tyra's birthday party with you and the whole Cave Club crew. And the best part is, we get to do it again next birthday. We'll see you next time. All right, birthday girl, let's rock and ride. Me and my best friends, but you can break. Oh, you don't.